You know, a lot of people in their YouTube channels have music and in introductions and, and fancy graphics and stuff, and that's awesome. So I'm going to try to incorporate that a little bit too. So ready? I'm just a white boy in the MDA. Going to dunk on your face and hear you say, What? Yeah, boy. Word to your mother. And on a smooth tip, in this week's episode of Retro Replay, we're going to play Jordan vs. Bird. Now, this one's a little different. I've had some technical difficulties of late, so I haven't been doing these installments as regularly because of this guy. My audio video capture USB device went kaput. So, I didn't know that at first. I didn't know if it was my NES clone that stopped functioning this is the generation next console i think it came out in the late 2000s so maybe 10 years ago i've had that for a while so i got anyway this guy because i was pretty sure it was that piece of junk i just threw on the floor which was ten dollars this is an elgato version kind of the same thing you just plug in the audio video cables goes usb and it's a capture device so i think this is going to be a lot more robust uh, it costs quite a bit more than that other thing but that other thing was ten dollars it worked for a few months so i got some stuff out of it the other aspect i wasn't sure of and just spoiler alert that elgato thing works so my solution well it was a solution but in parallel i went ahead and got this guy which is a retron one console clone thing and I'll just say that I am not overly impressed with it however it was only $18 with tax on Amazon so I'm not gonna complain fortunately my generation next console still works and um, this thing is so much better than this Redtron thing um, in terms of quality, video quality, sound quality. Uh, today's, we're going to go ahead and use this Retron because the Generation X console is not capable of playing every NES cartridge. Uh, this guy is supposed to because even on the box it says, where does it say, play all your NES favorites. So maybe they said favorites so it wouldn't play all of them. But this one does play the Jordan vs. Bird, which is really cool because the Generation Next won't play everything that NES uh, licensed or in a lot of the unlicensed stuff. But this guy may. The only thing is you can already see the video quality here is going to be kind of poor. And I'm not getting audio out of it right now. So... But we can actually play this, so which is cool, because I like this game. Um, and this, unlike some of the other things that I've played, which is the NES retro you know, replay that I'm doing, my NES cartridges as a kid 30 years later, this one I didn't have as a kid. I got it as an adult, so I didn't play this as a kid. However, I did play a similar game that was the reason behind me getting this one. And that was one-on-one -on -one Dr. J versus Bird on the Commodore 64, which is sweet. So this is kind of the same thing. It's just with Jordan and Bird. And uh, it's going to be cool. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do everything in this game because on the NES thing, it's just button A seems to work on this game and B doesn't do anything. So I don't know how to do all the dunks and, and whatnot. But... I'm a huge Michael Jordan fan. I think he's the greatest of all time. There are a lot of other names in there. I think Bird is horribly underrated. He was about a decade before me actually getting into basketball and watching. But uh, uh, <laughs> I've seen the stat sheets and I've seen replays and that dude was good. Very, very good. And uh, Jordan, of course, I did see in the mid-90s. You know, I was old enough then to follow sports and... I've never seen anybody like him. There's there's one player in the NBA right now who, if he can continue at the level he's been at for the past 15 years, um, you know, if he can sustain that for another five, 
then you know maybe he'll take that title but uh other than that i think jordan's it but anyway this is gonna be a cool thing so without further ado uh, let's go ahead and jump into this and see what kind of damage we can do against bird because i'm gonna be jordan loading 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 keep those doggies rolling ride watching there watching there one more there so let's start with a one-on-one -on -one full game and we're not going to uh oh come back i'm not going to do burr he's going to be a computer i'm going to play to 11. yeah we're going to have computer level one fouls we don't need no stinking fouls five periods what 12. It's length. Okay, five minute length. Let's go to two minute length. Alright, here we go. And no sound again, because I don't know what's going on. Let me buy, bird. Dunk on your face. And again, you can see the picture quality here is really poor. Oh, poop. And, uh,. There's a delay in the control. Oops, I haven't gotten a rebound yet. So far I'm losing. Oh, dunk on your face, what? Traveling? How can you travel in an 8-bit game? So in the old Commodore version, you actually use the joystick. Let's see if I can make that poop on a stick. Hmm. And uh, I wore that thing out. Dunk! Or lay it up. Come on, Michael. You're losing. Pressing the buttons doesn't help any. Uh, really hard, just so you know. Dunk! Lay it up. <laughs> Come on. Uh oh. I think Bird's going to make that one every time. I only have six points. Bird must be shooting three pointers on me. Rebound. Uh oh. He faked me out. Rebound. Yeah. Go, go, go. Apparently, I'm going to. Dribble backwards the whole way. Rebound! Oh, dude, I suck. Nice try. Bird is killing me. There we go, the 360. Take that, Bird. In your... Your Indianapolis... What is it? Indiana. It's like the Indiana GM right now. Don't go on your face again. Uh oh, that's not good. Box out. No boxing out. He's gonna kill me. It's freaking three pointers. There is a three point line. Oh, <laughs> take that. Uh oh, he's gonna make that one too. Dang, should have been bird. But Bird can't do this. Not even in 1988. But he could do that all day. I mean, again, Bird is underrated. You know, what the heck? This is going to be an ugly game. You know, there's a lot of comparisons between Bird with his mustache there and uh, Nowinski. And Nowinski's good, but he's not Bird good. Vince is going to be in the Hall of Fame. He's had a great career. But Bird, man, he could shoot, score, rebound, pass, dribble. So good. I mean, Jordan, I, I'm, uh, whoa, uh we're getting a little glitchy. Come on, Retron. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, poop. I don't even have to take it back. You can do it. Sweet. I don't need any heckling from the crowd. 
Dude. See, what I tell you, Bird's a rebounding machine here. Give him McHale and Larry Parrish. Be in serious trouble. I just need a block. Come on, Jordan. And he's going for his own rebounds. That's another thing about the 80s and 90s. They were competitors. There's no all-star games where there's going to be 160 points. And these dudes are going to go at it. And they're going to foul you. This is before the jumping into somebody. Or flopping a la Harden. You do that and you just like get laughed at on the ground. Oh, he's going to take a free throw shot. 39 to 29. Oh, I keep going. Dude, you can steal the ball. Go! Apparently, Bird is a really good defender, too. <laughs> or, I just suck. Which may be the case. I don't know. 41 to 31. Come on, get it. Uh oh. Ah. I can get the rebound, yes. Dunk! Woo! We're coming back. And I am a big basketball fan. You know, I like guys that can play defense, and that's why I say there's only really one guy that I think can take the title from Jordan. And. There are other names in that conversation that I never saw play. Like Will Chamberlain, Bill Russell, Ro um, Oscar Robertson, and, you know, many others. But those guys were just ridiculously good. However, I did see Jordan, and I've seen highlights of these other guys. And, you know, I think some of their... I'm not taking anything away from them, but, you know, it's a little bit different playing in the 50s like George Mikan and if George Mikan played now. I don't think he'd be Mr. Basketball. So, you know, just kind of throwing that out there. No disrespect because the guy was great. You know, and maybe it is, at this day he still would have been dominant. I don't know. But it was a, a different NBA and it's continued to evolve. So, you know, it may be in 30 years, uh, we'll have a, uh, whoa, a, good grief, you made that too? A retro replay where I'll be like 90 and play in a VR version of James versus Curry. You know, who knows? P.S. James is going to win one on one. I don't know. I mean, Curry's good. But I just think James is a full package. He's just all around great. And if he... I don't think he shows everybody everything he can do. All the time. But... He's the one since Jordan. You know, there have been other really good players. But he's the one since Jordan that has done it all over the court. Offense, defense, passing... Blocking, stealing, you know, team defense, help defense, one-on-one uh, -on -one defense, and of course he can score. So I just I haven't seen that, and that's the one thing I saw Jordan do. I mean, he was just locked down defender, locked down competitor. And one thing about Bird, too, his success, he had that drive, and he wasn't going to let anybody take it from him. Not even Jordan in 1988, apparently. In 1992, though, yeah, a little different story. There's a whole another ball of wax. <laughs> Come on. But, you know, I think that's just maturity. I mean, physical and talent maturity. Jordan came in the league in 84. Bird in like 79. So five year. Head start. Yeah, 
And also, I just want to say this since I'm playing Jordan. You know, people give him crap for his decision to go play baseball in the prime of his career. But if you're that good, why not, man? It's a personal decision. People got upset. You know, dogged on him. But he did it. He went and played professional baseball. And people say, well, he never made it to the MLB. No. He made it to double A, and I don't care what you say. That's professional baseball. And then he came back. He did that for two years. He came back, and he won three more titles. Still dominant. And then he retired again, and then came back. He won titles, but he's still better than a lot of people in terms of basketball. So that's why he's my all-time greatest. And just what he can do on the court. This game is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. And I'm losing. It would have been a lot easier to take Bird. <sighs> Apparently he can get his own rebound too. Dude. Block him. I'd hate to see like Bird at a level 10. CPU AI because I have them level one here. I guess that's the replay value of this game. Uh oh, no. See if you can continue to beat him. No blocking. Poop. 81. Uh oh, Kobe. Bird's going to take your title. You're scoring single game. Oh, he pushed me out of the way. That's not fair, Larry. There's no juke move in this either, so it's not like I can fake the guy out. I just have to scoot around him. Defense. Deep. Offense. Come on, Jordan. Wow. I know in the old, you know, Atari, Commodore, one-on-one, -on -one, Dr. J, Verd version, you could actually break the rim. Oh, that was so awesome. You go up and down, and you're like, and the whole backboard shatters. It was cool. So, new strategy here. I'm just going to try to ice him over in the corner. Whoa, what the? Never mind, that doesn't work. <laughs> Thought, you know, he would just, like, glitch out until the clock ran out, but apparently not. He was going to shoot it over me, a la Curry or Harden, and uh, make it anyway. Oh, I didn't look at the... See, that was a rookie mistake. 90 to 71. Game over. <sighs> well, Bird, you won that one. I don't need that one. So there's a slam dunk contest, a slam dunk warm up, follow the leader, which is different kinds of dunks, and then three point contest. Let's try the three point contest to see if that works. I don't want two players because there's just one of me. So apparently, Bird's going first. And fortunately, he's not doing too hot. So we're going to spectate. Let's go. You're doing okay, Larry. It's 1988. You should be doing better. But you're not. Um, this is a really disappointing showing, everybody. We expected Larry to come out here and do much, much better. Uh, he's had a long season. Uh, I think that the Pistons are really dominating this season they'll probably go on to the finals and uh, more than likely win it however you really expect more out of these celtics especially larry bird why not he's a bird he should fly come on larry show these fans what you're made out of 
And you see, oh, oh, I was gonna say he's starting to hit a groove, folks, but that's not true. So here's Larry Bird 2. And uh, he apparently doesn't know what he's doing, folks. And he's trying to shoot, and he's showing his skills about palming the ball. And um, we're having, oh, there, he finally got a shot off. Okay. He's jumping up and down. We're not sure what he's doing. Maybe, oh. Uh, maybe he figured it out. Yes, I think he did, folks. Hey, expect an exciting match now. Okay, that's good. We've got a, a double tap A and then B. Not not double tap A, but we've got to hit A and get into the shooting motion and then hit it B at the right time. We're going to go to the next tray. Okay, here we go. And tap. Oh, that's sad. Hands tap. I think that was a little late too, but we got it to roll in a friendly bounce in the home court. We're going to say this is Boston Garden because the Retron ones pixelated this so severely we couldn't tell if it was or not. Or what the round one final? So apparently we have a time limit. Also, that's good to know. Good to know. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna spectate now the the real Larry Bird. And uh, you know, it's odd enough. Why don't they let Jordan shoot? I know he wasn't like in his zone of three points yet. That came, you know, ninety six. 97 whatever but still come on he could do it so Larry still not doing too much here okay so we got on the right how many balls are left on that rack I don't know what's going on over there Total 10, 11, and 14. Whoa, did you get two points for that one? I think he may. Oh, we ran out of time. So, we're not going to run out of time this time. We're going to go, 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 go. And we are locked in, maybe. Can't tell if those are going in or not. Um, apparently not, because I'm not getting any points here. So I don't know where they were going. They looked like they were good. It's really hard, because there's still like a half a second delay between what I'm controlling and the shooting. Shoot, dude. I think I'm getting ripped off. Where are those going, then? Are they, like, behind the backboard? They must be, like, way off. What do I have? One shot made? This is ridiculous. All i got to say so far is... Um, Dr. J versus Bird, one-on-one. -on -one. Was way better than this. This game is rigged like every other freaking NES game I've ever played. That's me as a kid with uh, less gray hair and probably about the same amount of angst with these freaking things. Because um, they were hard. Most of them you couldn't save. You know, you just play for eight hours and then you die and have to start all over and yeah they give extra lives and blah 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 and everybody gets a trophy now blah blah blah, blah. but <laughs> it sucks being a kid and being frustrated all the time too and give us a little bit just, just, just a little sliver of hope that you can do something <laughs> that's all I'm asking for Larry 
That's what I'm asking for. Go. What the heck again? Come on, Larry. Show me. Show me you still got it, buddy. You can do it. We're, we're scoring, Larry. We can do it. We're going to be a champion. Thank you for that follow, buddy. Appreciate that. This video will be posted on YouTube as part of my retro replay series. The NES cartridges playing 30 years later. Go. And I'm sure they're to disappoint, but they're kind of fun doing and making again. You can do it. He didn't do it. Anyway, after 24 hours, because this is currently broadcast on my Twitch channel, and I'm an affiliate, so not to get in trouble, we're going to wait that 24-hour period before posting on YouTube. And then it'll branch out, and everybody will get to see it, and it'll be one happy family. Yay! People, loving people. And nice times. Uh oh. So now, okay, so this is the Jordan part of it. Holy crap. I don't know how to do that. So, oh, okay. So this is a dunk contest. And, uh, let's pick one that I can do. Probably this one. Okay, doesn't start that way. Maybe it starts with B, and then A. Nope. I don't know what the heck I'm doing now. Again, much easier on the old Commodore version. And I don't have a booklet with this game. So I don't know how to do it. On oh, that did something. I don't know what it was, though. Maybe it's a tap, tap, tappy, and then another tap. Oh, I think he's going to win that one. All right. Back slam. Uh, not a tap, tap. Maybe hold, then release. No, not that one. Maybe. Oh! Oh, we got it that time almost. Okay, it's with the A button, I think. Twister. Yeah, you AI retro. I'm going to do that one. Here we go, buddy. You can do it, Michael. You can touch the sky. And I want to be like Michael. Jackson, he he he! Come on, there we go. Ah, no, denied. I was eliminated. So now we'll do follow the leader. The last. There's a one-on-one -on -one up to eleven or fifteen, but I played a full game and lost. So what's the point? Um, so now I get to pick my dunk, I think. Um, come on, Michael. You can do can do it. No, maybe you can't. Come on, buddy. Oh, and denied. I don't know. Where to go with the timing? Oh, he's a sneaky guy. Now he's going for the back slam. I think I can do this one. He hit his. All nines and eights. Good grief. Get my tongue out. Okay, not that one. Come on. Dude. You're making me look bad. I 
Made me look real bad. I'm just like running around the court. This is like the dunk contest in the mid 2000s where they didn't have a time limit or a dunk amount of limit. And people were like trying to do all these dunks and just failing. And Nate Robinson. I mean, I like Nate Robinson. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but that was pretty sad. I'm sure he wasn't enjoying it very much either. Kind of when they're getting crazy. Like cupcakes on ladders and dunking over people. And the one with um, Amari Stoudemire and Steve Nash is pretty cool though. You got Nash doing the header foot thing and Amari dunking it. And I did like the Superman one. Don't get me wrong. I don't even know what dunk I'm supposed to do now. Not that I'm going to do that one anyway. Come on! Rear button mashing. Probably going to break my controller. This is my original controller. because I don't want to break it. From like circa 1987. I remember getting the NES and by that time everybody had the Sega Genesis which is on that note I hope the Retron 5 version is better it's supposed to be HD and HDI cable instead of these audio video things whoa um, I hope it's better because this thing isn't real good quality and it'll play NES, Super NES, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and I think Sega Genesis, which would be pretty cool. So going back, I'm a kid, finally get my NES, and everybody's moved on to the Sega. Kind of sucked, but before that, <laughs> I had the Odyssey 2, which is like 1980, no, 1978. It was like, not 8-bit, it was, I don't know what it was. But it was uh, stick figure actions with white dots. And then if you put two other white dots right here on your stick figure, then he's a cowboy. Um, so that was, yeah, it was fun. I didn't have what everybody else had, but I got to play games. And it was, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the Commodore 64 system. I was always late, but at least I got to play. It's kind of like this Retron thing. I wouldn't have got to play this game again and get like a hand cramp trying to get Jordan to dunk if I didn't have this. Because my Generation Next one won't do it. My original NES system is kaput. So... And I'm sure that some of the other titles I have, I have, you know, at least one unlicensed one um, that'll be coming later. I'll need this Retron again. And it was $18. Dude, there should be a time limit here. Oh, finally! <laughs> Flubbed it. <sighs> Whew! Let's see what I'm supposed to do. Oh, good grief. He was way over there. I guess you gotta know where to jump from, maybe. Maybe that's the key to success. Nope. Maybe not. Michael! Yuck! You can do my jump! <laughs> you're not, you're not, you're not jumping. Yeah! Oh, you jumped! Yay! We didn't make it, but at least we jumped. Taking that as a, as, a, as a win. So, computer, you may beat me. You 16-bit jackerwad. But I'm not talking to you. Off! Oh. So anyway, ignore that. I don't know what the kids computer. named her. Like 
purchase a professional sign program to get access to pro level features and trying to steal my thunder. However, be aware that you data collection miner. Yeah, take that. Oh, I did what I was supposed to do. I don't know what I was supposed to do, though. I got ones. I'm scoring points for these. That's pretty good. What's on my foot? Get off my foot. It's wired. All nines and eights, huh? Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Is this game mode? Oh, holy crap, what was that? I got a zero, a one, a one, a one. I think that one judge is biased because he's not giving me any scores at all. At least the other ones are giving me effort scores. Which, I mean, really, I'm trying. It's not my fault. I'm doing what I can here with what I got. Oh, da boom! That guy didn't get... Oh, the other one didn't give me a score either this time. Does this have an ending two-handed hammer that's pretty sweet let's see I'm gonna do it just like they did oh not just like that come on just like they did going this way then that yes hey the stuck-up judge finally gave me a point so I think Two-handed hammer again. Not only do you have to start with it. Oh, well, maybe not. I thought maybe your shoulders had to be squared the same way. <sighs> Two-handed hammer. I think the computer's trying to help me here. It's like, hey, you almost made that one. Let's try it again, okay? Come on, baby. Oh. Come on, baby. We're starting. I'm incomplete. There ain't no way to treat the broken hearted. Get on down and turn it to A little 1980s Van Halen rendering. I don't have the rights to that, so don't sue me. And I don't think that would constitute as a copyright because it was really bad. Don't, don't, dude. Just do something. Feign a sprained ankle. In the misery. <laughs> Glitch out. I don't care. <laughs> just, just let me go sit on the bench, coach. Take me out. I suck. I'm embarrassing myself. I'm not gonna do it! <laughs> Let's make it stop! I'm gonna go back to rapping because this is pretty bad. Let's, uh, let's uh, boop -a yeah, that's not what I would rap. Um, okay, we're gonna end this dream mode. Woo! So that, folks, was Jordan versus Bird on the Retron 1 console, and I'm not. Yeah, the graphics look okay here with the big purple screen, but when you're actually playing something, it's pretty poor. And I played Mario on it the other day, too, just to see if it was this one game. It's not. It made Mario look like poop. Um, but my Generation X one still works. I've got a new capture audio video device, which is Elgato, and that's what I'm using for my um, HD. Well, it's my... Yeah, I guess it's HD. It's not 4K. I have the HD Pro Elgato capture card in the PC here for streaming from my Xbox. And I love that. It works really well. I've got the Elgato green screen behind me. I don't know if you can hear that, but there it is. And um, been they're pricey, but they've been working. So I'm happy with that. And I have got this other system that will play some other games that maybe my other one won't. Thank you for joining. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you like these videos and try to keep making them better and not suck um, in the quality or content or my ability, <laughs> we'll see if we get that done. But that's the goal. And uh, thank you for showing and hit that subscribe button. 
see me on Twitch and Mixer. And thank you. Have a good weekend.